Hey, what's up, everybody? This is DJ Keo, and we gotta talk about this this Morgan Wallen character. I made a video. It was supposed to be for the uncut thing, and I had I got cold feet. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I got cold feet. I went in on him, but I also I don't know. I I think it was a little too spicy for my platform. And I was like, man, I probably I should probably shouldn't put this out. But uh, we got to talk about this guy. So for those who don't know, Morgan Wallen, I think it's Wallen. I don't, I don't even care how to pronounce this guy's name. He's a country music star. And basically, he got caught out there saying that. And I hate calling it the N-word. But for the purposes of me keeping my channel PG, N-word. He got caught on, he was really, really drunk and he's getting out of a car and he, he said it to his friend. Um, and I think that people are made this thing a little bit overblown. I don't care that this guy's a racist. I honestly don't care. And that's my hot take. I can care less. Uh, do you, should you cancel him from ever working again? I don't care. I don't have overlap with Morgan Wallen with his fans or his music. Up until this incident happened, I've never even heard of him. Uh, so this doesn't affect my life. And I'm not one of these people that shrivels up in a little ball when somebody says or does something racist. I've lived a long <laughs> life. I've been a lot of places. I lived all over America from both coasts. Sea to shining sea. I live in middle America. A good chunk of my life, I lived in Middle America, the Midwest. I've seen all kind of craziness in the South. Craziness in the South. Good old boys. State troopers. I'm talking craziness in the South. I'm talking Dixie flags on the back of their pickup truck. And it's not the, well, I can't believe you would do that in society. It's like you're the outlier for being like, why is that wrong? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like This is the craziness I've seen in the South. I don't care. <laughs> this doesn't affect my life. I am not uh, one of these people where somebody says something and I'm just like, oh my God, how could you? And I just fall down in, in a fetal position and start crying. I'm a person of, you say something to my face, I'll push back on you to your face. I'm going to clown on you. I'm going to make fun of you. I am sharp with the comebacks. You know, you have to be in my family. Uh, so I'm not going to sit there and cry. I'll be like, yo, I'm going to hit you back with something to embarrass you or make fun of you. Uh, I, this kind of stuff doesn't bother me. Now, I prefer if we as a society got to the point where Morgan Wallen could be like, hey, black people, my bad. And black people are like, all right, bet. But you say this again, we're going to slap you. But all right. <laughs> That's where we need to be. So this guy got canceled, dropped from his label, uh, Spotify and all these companies banned him, which I have to say, this, this concerns me. These platforms are your only place to be. Well, you know, they got title and all this other stuff. But like Spotify is the biggest. It's the most important one. And these guys are just yanking people off willy-nilly. Like, no. So Spotify yanked him. Radio stations pulled him down. He got in hot trouble with his label. And then <laughs> the people, the rednecks, the people who listen to country music, I listen to country music. Don't judge me. These people were like, oh, hell no. And uh, they pushed back and <laughs> there was a reversal. And so Spotify made a, a Morgan Wallen playlist after the band. They put this guy back on the play on the company and they put this especially playlist just for him. Radio stations uh start playing his music again like nothing happened. They just pretended like nothing happened. And this is the craziest thing to me. And I think this goes back to the people. We're allowing the minority to dictate what the majority people feel about a certain instance. There's bots and a couple people tweeting at a company or a business on social media 
and the business goes, oh my god, <laughs> and you just panic. And then they were like, oh, we got to stop this. And then fire everybody and cancel everything and just delete it. And then they apologize and grovel on their knees. Rather than being like, I mean, we hear you, but the rest of our customers are fine with it. So, you know what? We'll put out a statement and say, we don't, we don't condone this, but we're going to keep it moving. This is what needs to happen. Now, and again, as a black person, I'm supposed to be like, oh my God, Morgan Wilder. I can't believe you said that. Elvis Presley was a racist. <laughs> Old school celebrities were all racist. All of the, the whole board. We used to watch their movies. We pretend like they weren't racist and we just keep it moving. Politicians were racist. Lots of people were racist. They said all kinds of racist things. Your life is still going on. Now, can you be mad about it? Yes. Can you be like, well, I'm never going to buy from this company again? Yes. You know what? Use your money. Take it somewhere else. If, if Spotify is going to support this kind of stuff, then pull it out. But at the same time, we need a path to redemption. And there doesn't seem to be a path to redemption. Everybody gets canceled. And I told this story before. There is a race car driver. His father said something. He called somebody the N word in 1971 or something like that. It was like it was like 40 something years ago. This race car driver who didn't say the N word, who hasn't been racist and has been doing everything in his power to not be racist for how many years this guy's been driving NASCAR? I think it's NASCAR. Uh, how many years he's been doing this thing? This guy got fired. <laughs> Not the father. I don't even know if the father's still alive. But the son got fired because the father said something 40-something years ago. That's insane to me, first of all. Second of all, there needs to be a path for redemption for somebody does something stupid, they don't get shoved out of society. Somebody does something stupid, they should be like, hey, everybody, I messed up, my bad. And you know, if it's sincere, cool. If it's not sincere, uh, take six months off. <laughs> and then you could be unsincere, but not do it again. And you know what? Cool. Do you. But everybody's groveling and still getting fired and canceled and banned. Louis C.K. is basically on the outs with Hollywood. He can't come back. I don't think he did anything wrong, to be honest. I think he's a weird degenerate. <laughs> but as far as uh, illegality or being evil or whatever. I don't think he did anything wrong. He asked permission. They were like, all right, let's see it. <laughs> and so he did. And then he got in trouble for asking permission and for the people saying, all right. <laughs> I don't, that, that don't make any sense to me. For you to be like, oh, here's a weirdo, like Kevin Spacey, before he got banned. Everybody in Hollywood was like, Kevin Spacey's a weirdo. But he's a really good actor. I'm not going to lie. I like his movies. I still watch his movies today. Kevin Spacey's a beast actor, man. Uh, if he did anything that they, they said he did, he'd probably be in jail. But uh, <laughs> uh, Kevin Spacey's a good actor. I'm not mad at him. I'm not going to be like, I have to burn and smash all my DVDs of Kevin Spacey or whatever. He's a good actor. He's in a couple of my favorite movies of all time. Usual Suspects. I love that movie. Kevin Spacey killed them. There is no usual suspects without Kevin Spacey. Period. This guy, he's a phenomenal actor. Uh, it, it, degenerate. <laughs> but I'm like, if he didn't do anything illegal, let this guy come back and have a path of redemption. Everybody needs a path of redemption. And, and I'm looking at it from a space of, we can't just throw people out of society. This is a terrible precedent to set forward because this thing is only going to get worse and it's, only, it's going to blow up in your face. It's a terrible precedent, man. I'm sorry. If you want to boycott this person or, ban, or, or be like, well, I'm never going to watch their thing again. Yes, do that. Speak with your wallet. That's cool. I'm, I'm, I'm totally down for that. But when we start talking about this crap world, you can't exist? Nah, that's not it, boss. I'm not down with that. 
<sighs> All right, I'm done with this. If you want to support the channel, you can buy something from my t-shirt shop, teespring.com, DJ Keel store. And uh, thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe, and uh, peace out. Peace out.